hello guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be filming another Sinasa video so a lot of you complain that the previous video wasn't self-explanatory so I decided to film another video for you guys um, in this video I'm going to be showing you a different method of um, making Sinasa it's totally different from the method I showed you the other time so keep on watching if you're new to my channel please subscribe and hit the notification bell so for this recipe I'm going to be using three cups of rice this is the type of rice I'll be using So I've finished washing the rice. Now I'm going to soak it for three to four hours. So it's been three hours already. Now I'm going to blend it and then get back to you. So I've blended the rice. This is the consistency you'll get. I'm going to take one cup of the butter and then put it in a separate container. So you are going to boil some water and then add the boiled water into the paste. So I'm going to add the boiled water into the butter. make sure you whisk it until it's thick and smooth set it aside and then let it cool completely before adding it to the other butter if after adding the hot water and stirring it and then yours is not as thick as this you can just put it in a saucepan or a pot and then put it over the stove and continue stirring it will eventually thicken and then you just transfer it into another bowl and and mix it until it is smooth just like mine so the mixture is cool completely so I'm going to add it into this paste and then mix them together
continue whisking it until it's smooth. This is the right consistency. It shouldn't be too thin and it shouldn't be too thick also. I'm adding one tablespoon of yeast inside the butter. Mix everything together. So everything is now ready. I'm done mixing the batter. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover it up and keep it in a warm place for at least 30 minutes to one hour to allow it to rise. And then I'll get back to you. Okay, so I kept the batter for one hour and as you can see, it has risen well. You can see all those bubbles. So I'm going to add in quarter cup of sugar in the batter. If you want it sweet you can add a little bit of sugar in your own I'm adding a little bit more of the sugar because I'm not going to eat this with soup I'm going to eat it like that so I'm adding more sugar in it I'm adding a pinch of salt and a teaspoon of baking powder in it. I'm also adding chopped onions. So guys, it's ready. Now we are going to fry the sinasir. Check out those bubbles. Your batter should look exactly like this. Smear your pan with oil and we are going to fry it on a very on a very low heat. I added just one cup of the batter to cover it. So guys, these ones, I haven't flipped them. I only fried one side and you see how it's looking. It looks perfect. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.